It's your boy. Oh, no, Taki. Ah, fuck. The otaku Ronin. Ah. Ah, okay. Back at it again with a new anime season. Fall 2022. And much like my other video where I talked about the most underappreciated anime of spring 2022 and you know summer had you know some all right stuff i mean it was it was pretty good it was a pretty dry summer it's a pretty dry summer but for fall while everybody is hyped on some returns and all the hipsters are just parroting their favorite anitubers opinions to sound like they know a shit i'm once again dealing with ignorance in the anime fandom I mean, what else is new? Now look, I've been hankering for more Mob Psycho 100 as much as the next guy waiting on One Punch Man Season 3. And yeah, they got Shonen OG Bleach come in to show my hero how it's done. Okay, once again, it just overshadows the diamonds in the oversaturated rough this season. Now this season's big enough already and then you had a fucking sports anime. <sighs> God damn. Some good looking waifu media and of course the quirky ones. Come on guys. Is the only thing to gush about this season really just Chainsaw Man? Well I can't blame you. It's just another notch on the good old Evangelion belt of impact gratitude. You're welcome. I could already hear... The fucking weaves. No, fuck you. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on. An MC that was forced into a situation by his father with a mysterious waifu that is at the center of a conspiracy while the loud, rightfully arrogant, true waifu lives with him and a mentor figure in a small apartment together with espionage and politics. You know, playing into layers of thematic psychological storytelling. I mean, am I the only one who? I, mean, I can't be the only one who sees it. Yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. I mean, we also got that Spy Family Core two that I mean we've all been feeding for. The manager from Akiba Maid Wars is my spirit animal. <laughs> Urusai Yatsura, a certified hood classic. Wow. But guys, you're gonna you're gonna let me down again when you let another. Hidden gem, just sit on the wayside and not get as much attention. I mean, <laughs> why is no one talking about Bochi the Rock? And y'all still putting up with Naruto the second? Really? Really? Are you fucking serious still? It's got a little heated. Okay, okay. Look here, weebs. Let me just throw some names at you. Just a couple, just a couple names. Let's see if you catch on. Kaon. Love Live. Zombie Land Saga. Love Live Sunshine. Princess Nine. Love Live Superstar. Onipan. Love Live. Nijigasaki. Are you seeing a pattern? Do I have to spell it the fuck out? Girls coming together to make something special happen. They create. They reinvent. They show us the true meaning of friendship. Of inspiration. Despite the obstacles, they come together to show us that solidarity. Dedication. And cute shit can overcome any adversity. I'm talking, of course, of Bochi the Rock. What happens when you get an introvert guitar prodigy, an extrovert guitar novice, fun-loving optimistic drummer, and a super cool Chad bassist with great comedic timing 
and a fucking great OST, you get cute shit like Bochi the fucking rock. I mean, let's just open with the opening. Best opening of the season. The setting, the atmosphere, it's all there. And I haven't seen anyone giving it props. And like Onipon, it has crisp animation. And by two, count it, two separations, we get the same result as Onipon. Where Wit Studios fucking killed it with a kids show. They then worked with Cloverworks on Spy Family. And from there, Cloverworks fucking kills it with Bochi the Rock's animation. We witnessed the making of a band that captures the true spirit of music. Having fun. Creating with friends and loved ones. And showing the world what you have to offer while growing together. I cannot stress it enough. It's a few things your boy Ronan loves. It's Evangelion, MF Doom, pro wrestling, and cute girl band shit! Watch Bochi the Rock, you fucking weebs.